welcome back to the video as usual uh, it's fantastic to have you here just a quick little video from me this week it's just gonna be a little update um, since the fire and first start I haven't really done anything I don't have a lot to do well sorry I should say I've got a lot to do I don't really have much time to get a lot done so today is just going to be a bit of an update video I have the loom here I'm slowly working through and cutting out all the burnt bits of wire so I'm just cutting out the burnt bit soldering shrinking in the new stuff um, I still have to go through and look at the TPS issue, but probably going to have to wait for the ECU to come back for that. Oh. Speaking of, the ECU uh, is going to have to be sent back, probably going to be a three or four week turnaround time by the time they get it, look at it, repair it, and uh, ship it back to me. So probably not going to be able to start it up again for a little while. Um, but I still have a fair bit to do. Uh, like I said, I've got to finish patching up this loom. I have to, I've ordered a bunch of heat wrap, so I have to heat wrap and paint the dump pipe, the crossover pipe, both of the headers, and I also need to make a little dump tube for the screamer pipe there. So that's going to keep me going in the meantime. Um, today though, I'm going to give it a quick compression test. Um, I'm not going to worry about this, having this loom on it. I'm just going to quickly plug the battery in and then just arc out the starter, wind her over. I always see a bit of... Well, not a bit of... I always see on uh, other YouTube videos they never really show the correct way to compression test an engine which the way I was taught in my apprenticeship is you pull all your plugs out you hold it to wide open throttle wind it over until it peaks and then that is your static compression ratio or well, not compression ratio but that is how much the, the, the cylinders are making compression once it peaks um, I'm not expecting them to all be identical being a fresh build I'm expecting some small discrepancies but basically I just want to check and make sure that when it hydrolocked nothing was bent I reckon it's still I reckon it's gonna be pretty good it didn't try and light it off or anything like that um, it's just for a bit of peace of mind um, and yeah so that's my quick goal for today so I'll probably get you guys set up on the tripod I'll get the compression tester out We'll crack her in a few cylinders, see how she goes.
Alright, well, that's going to be it from me. I'm pretty happy with that test. Um, again, I wasn't looking for crazy compression numbers. Um, I don't think I quite got it in the hole well enough, and the, the threads for that, they don't thread into the, the head well enough. Um, but for the numbers that I could get on them, they're all within a couple of percent of each other, which is what I was looking for. Um, I doubt this engine's only been run once, so the rings aren't going to be seated yet, so it's not going to have really, really high compression numbers. Um, I was only doing the compression test just to be sure that nothing's been bent or messed up when it hydrolocked. Um, which I'm pretty confident it hasn't. Again, it didn't try and light it off. It just, I just cranked it on the starter and just sort of went, Yeah! So, um, for now, I'm going to finish fixing up that loom and, uh, I've got to sort out this throttle cable and then all this turbo system is going to come back off in the next video and I'll high heat paint it or heat wrap it. I've got to finish weld on this bracket. Um, I've got to flatten off the head flanges and this turbo flange, put the gaskets and new bolts into everything. Uh, and that's going to be about it really. I'd like to make up a little catch can. I might make up a couple of little hoses and a catch can down into the corner there for that as well. That'll be in an upcoming video. Um, and then yeah, just gotta wait for the computer to come back so we can fire this bad girl back up. I gotta top the water back up because it, I didn't get enough time to, to fill her up properly. I'd like to get a new radiator cap. So few bits and pieces to button up still yet. Um, I sort out that TPS issue, whether it was in the wiring or the TPS itself. I don't know. Um, yeah, anyway, that's it for me in this video. Um, thanks for everyone who commented on the startup video with all the support. Really appreciate it. Um, uh, means a lot. Uh, yeah, like I said, it was a shame, but you know, it is what it is. I'm not gonna let it get to me too much. Uh, I don't know if I'm gonna fix the paintwork yet, as of yet. Um, I still have to paint the rest of the car, so I might sort something out then. I might not. Um, yeah, anyway, I'm pretty happy. Get back to work and on this thing in a few weeks time, getting it ready to fire up, we'll go and bed the rings in and get working on the tune, i got to get it on the dyno, get a tune on it, see what she makes, the clutch is going to slip before it makes any sort of decent power anyway, uh, but anyway, that's enough for me in this video, thanks for watching, hope you guys have enjoyed it, and I will see you guys in the next one, bye.